government class. In today's government class, we'll be looking at another nationalist movement in British West Africa called the National Congress of British West Africa. The National Congress of British West Africa was formed in 1920 in a conference held in Ghana for British West Africa. The leader of the Congress was J.E. Castle Aford, J.E. Castle Aford in from Gold Coast, Ghana. The leader was from Ghana. And a notable Ni Nigerian member of this um, nationalist movement was Akiwande Savage. The Congress aimed at constitutional reforms and other reforms. In 1920, the Congress sent a delegation to the Secretary of State for Colonies in London. With, in the course of this class, we look at the demands that this, um, that this nationalist movement sent to the Secretary of State in Colonies. The, the movement had been prejudiced by the British colonial West African governors that the Congress did not represent the interest of the people of West Africa and the Congress eventually collapsed in 1930 with the death of its leader. In most of his writings, the leader of this nationalist movement, Castley, he criticized the shortcomings of the British administration. The political issues associated with the First World War helped greatly in rekindling people's interest in the Congress. So, Castley, in most of his writings, criticized the shortcomings of the British administration and the political issues that came up with the First World War helped greatly in rekindling people's interest in this Congress. For example, one of the for example, one of the um, interests that he brought out in the people was the interest of the West African the, the West African leaders. They wanted to be more involved in formulating policies as that regarded that was um, they wanted to be more involved in formulating their own policies. Also, they wanted more African participation in the administration, judicial, and other sensitive areas of government. Another interest that it rekindled in the people was they opposed. Another interest that he rekindled in the people was they opposed discrimination and they advocated for the use of elections in, the, in their respective assemblies. The next thing we'll be looking at is the aims and objectives of the National Congress of British West Africa. What were the aims and objectives of this Congress? The first was pre-election. They wanted, they wanted an effective representation in government at all levels based on free election. So they did not want... They, they didn't want the governor to just appoint people based on his own free will. They wanted there to be an election so that there would be an effective representation in the government at all levels. Another aim of this Congress was administrative reforms. It demanded for administrative reforms and also demanded for equal opportunities irrespective of, of the race, of the color of the skin. He also argued that this, you, this Congress also argued that the civil service should be Africanized. So another aim of this Congress was for, was for administrative reforms. They demanded for administrative reforms. They wanted equal opportunities of both the whites and the blacks. And they also argued that the civil service should not be for whites and the black. It should purely be for Africans. Another aim and objective of this Congress was they wanted trained and qualified lawyers to be made judges. And they also wanted the flogging of women for any offense whatsoever to be stopped. So one of the aims of this Congress was also that the, the, the judiciary sector of the, of the government, they wanted trained and qualified lawyers to be made judges, and they also wanted them to stop the flogging of women for any offense whatsoever. They wanted it to be stopped. Another aim of, the, of this National Congress of British West Africa was self-determination. They wanted, they wanted the people. The Congress demanded for the right of the people to determine what form of government, what system of government best suits them. So they, de they demanded for the right of self-government of to self-determination of West Africans. Another aim of this Congress was they wanted the right to appoint and dispose the traditional rulers to be vested in the traditional organizations and not the colonial masters. So they wanted the right to appoint and dispose the traditional rulers to be given to the people and not the colonial masters um, having the right to appoint and dispose traditional rulers. Another aim of the National Congress of British West Africa was 
to condemn the attitudes of economic exploitation and ineffective organizational mechanisms. The restrictions on trade, including the inflow of Asians into West Africa. So one of the objectives of this Congress was also to condemn, to stop the attitude of economic exploitation of the people of West Africa and to put restriction on trade and to restrict the inflow of Asians into West Africa. Another aim of the Congress was to establish a West African university. They wanted, they demanded for the establishment of a West African university as well as creating standards in the educational sector. So they demanded for the establishment of a university and they also wanted the standard of education in West Africa to be upgraded, to be, to be upgraded. So that was also one of the aims of this Congress. Another aim of this Congress was they demanded for the development of the press and its role in developing the nation and that the laws, laws that limit the freedom of the press be repelled. Another aim of this Congress was they wanted an improvement in the medical sector. They wanted the medical sector to be improved. Another aim of the Congress was to control, to have control over revenue and expenditure. They wanted they wanted to have control over the, the revenue of their state and the expenditure of their state. They felt that the, the control over revenue and expenditure, and expenditure should be given to the proposed legislative council, the legislative council that they demanded for. And with this, we've come to the end of this class. In the course of this class, we looked at the aims and the objectives of the National Congress of British West Africa, NCBWA. In the next class, we'll be looking at the demands of the nationalists in the 1920s, or what we also know as the demands of the National Congress of British West Africa. And I'll see you at the next class. Mm -hmm.